Um, so let me begin today by saying thank you to all of you. Um, you are courageous leaders and you are American patriots. And so I'm very pleased to welcome you and, and for many of you, welcome you back to the White House to have yet another very important conversation and this time about one of the most important pillars of our democracy, which is about the fundamental right to vote. And when we look at what has happened in Texas, we look at what's happening around the country, I think it's important to remember we talk about the right to vote. Um, and the right to vote is a given. All citizens have the right to vote constitutionally. It is their right. What we are seeing are examples of an attempt to interfere with that right. An attempt to marginalize and take from people a right that has already been given. We are not asking for the bestowal of a right. We are talking about the preservation of a right. That is the right of citizenship. And it's that fundamental. It is that fundamental. And so when I look at that, um, and the, the, the fact that Americans are at risk of losing mm -hmm. their access to their right, they still have a right, but losing access to that right. Mm -hmm. We know we have a great challenge in front of us and therefore a fight which is to fight for every American's right, mm -hmm. meaningful right, mm -hmm. to vote. And so that's where we are. And of course, since 2013 and the gutting of Shelby, in the Shelby v. Holder case, we have seen exactly what we feared when that case came down in 2013. Because that case was a, an opening of a door to allow states to do what otherwise we had protected against, which is states putting in place laws that are designed, in many cases, quite intentionally, to make it difficult for people to vote. Right. And so this is what we've seen over and over again, and what's happening right now in Texas is, of course, a very clear and, and current example of that. So, <clears throat> To the, to the point of what we must do collectively to ensure that every American retains their right to vote, our administration, President Biden and myself and our administration are here to make very clear that we will do everything in our power as an administration to lift up the voices of those who seek to preserve the right of the people to vote. We're not telling people how to vote. And frankly, this is not a Democratic or a Republican That's issue. This is an American right. issue. That's right. This is an American issue. When we look at these attempts to infringe on people's access to voting, we know that it is going to impact people, Americans with disabilities, right. seniors, students, people of every walk of life. When we look at these laws that are designed to interfere with poll workers. Mm -hmm. Well, let's think about that for a moment. I have voted and, been, and visited with, with these wonderful American volunteers who are the poll workers. Mm -hmm. When I've gone to vote at the local elementary school, mm -hmm. when I've gone to vote at the local church, mm -hmm. this is who we're talking about and interfering with them. And what they are doing is part of their civic duty. These are some of the issues that are at play. And so I welcome you. I welcome you on behalf of the president and myself. As you know, he's in Europe right now. Um, but we wanted to, to greet you here in the Roosevelt Room um, as an extension of the importance of the work you are doing, not only on behalf of the people of Texas, but the people of our country and our nation as a whole. And um, while we will meet, we will also talk about the administration's absolute commitment to seeing Congress, the United States Congress, pass mm -hmm. the John Lewis Voting Rights Act, mm -hmm. and to pass the For the People Act, mm -hmm. to again put back in place the protections that existed before, mm -hmm. and to ensure as we go forward that as there are new attacks on the access to the polls and voting, 
that we head them off in a way that ensures again that the people retain their right to vote however they choose, mm -hmm. but unimpeded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So with that, I wanna thank all of you and we will talk about Senate Bill 7 and how it clearly um, has been written in a way that will make it difficult for people and, um, and what you all are doing as courageous leaders to get, again, speak up for the people and that is what you are doing. So thank you all and I look forward to our discussion and let us begin. <laughs>